I'm Don West for the Ozarks Previews. We are here today at the Marucci Clubhouse Midwest for the photo shoot of the 2022 Ozarks Baseball Preview. Joining me now is cover selection Jake Leaker from Gainesville High School and his coach Blake Hobbs. And Jake, uh, when you found out you were on the cover of the magazine from Coach, uh, what were your thoughts? Well, I was excited. I was happy to hear. And uh, it was something I've wanted to do since my freshman year. I wanted to be on the cover. Have you known anybody before, any teammates or any friends or anyone? No, sir, no teammates or anything like that. Okay. What what made you a good pick for the cover this year? Have you have a have a great season last year? I had a good, I had a good spring, and uh, I think I got my name out there a little bit, and Coach Hobbs helped me a lot. So Coach Hobbs here, what have you learned from him uh, from the game, and how has he uh, built your, uh, your resume in baseball? He's really uh, just – taught me how important it was to let your players play and not uh, over over coach and uh, we we have to play the game by ourselves sometimes without having things filled into our ears all the time Gainesville is uh, out of ways to the east of Springfield who uh, who are some of your favorite rivals to play out that way in baseball well I don't like Norwood don't like and Norwood so, okay yeah, <laughs> I don't like Norwood or I don't like Ava so I like, I like playing those those guys so have you got over on them the last few years we beat them twice, as, or I know we beat them at least once this fall. I can't remember. I think we might have split with them. But, uh, yeah, it's usually, usually a good game. And you play a little fall and a little spring baseball, so uh, you get a lot of games in. So is that uh, good for your uh, overall improvement? Yes, sir, it is. It's The fall season really does help a lot. When you, when you look at the season coming up, what's uh, the main thing that stands out to you? What are you looking forward to? Uh, I don't think we should do anything or make it any shorter than the Final Four. We should be – we went to the quarterfinals last year, and uh, we've only gotten better. So I think we should, should be really solid. Pretty good words there, Coach Blake Hobbs from Jake, uh, that uh, the Final Four is the goal, and you always really want that to be the goal for a team. Oh, yeah. That's – if you're not working for the Final Four, then I just personally think you shouldn't be out there trying. Uh, just we need to show up ready to play every day and if we play our game we have a good shot at doing something special how is Jake a guy that can lead your team that way that far well he definitely has a leadership role I mean he's a leader on the court he's a ball handler on the basketball court and whenever he takes that skill from basketball and brings it to baseball and you know when he's when he's on the mound he's it's his show and it's time to get started he'll lead off for us and he sets the tone some games i know against dora he told me his swing didn't feel very good last year and he leads off with a home run <laughs> like I, he's just that kind of kid he can create a spark just like that so. i mean and look at the numbers 490 is the average last year in 29 spring games with 10 home runs and uh that's a guy you you want in your lineup every day obviously yes, yes. and at the leadoff spot you know you're I, the pitcher's going to start with a uh, – usually with the striker, try to get ahead early. Well, when you have to get ahead early to someone like Jake, it's definitely a uh, – not a very easy task to do. So, and with his 10 home runs, I mean, he – he hunts fastballs. Give him a fastball, he's gonna hit it. And guess what? He'll you throw a breaking ball, he's gonna hit it. So, would you think about moving him in the order, or do you like him there at the top? We definitely moved him. I moved him in the fall to two hole uh, because I felt like for my team it was just we needed to change something up lineup wise, and moving him to the two hole and it he treated it just like a leadoff spot. He didn't change his approach. He did exactly what he's supposed to as a hitter. It must have paid off, too, to get somebody on base in front of him a few times, right? Yes, yes. We, uh, Our leadoff hitter, he started hitting better once he moved in the leadoff spot because they knew they had to pitch to him, and hopefully that he got out in front of Jake. Well, sometimes it paid off for us. So. Summit Conference uh, rivalries uh, big for Gainesville baseball? Uh, yes, we uh, we got Hartville with McNeil. We got Norwood with Duvall and Seymour now with Noble. Um, it's you don't you can't step into a Summit Conference game and think that you're gonna get you're gonna go into an easy game. I mean, there's no team there that you can sleep on. Back to uh, Jake Leaker now, and uh, that's obviously true. You got to be ready for these conference teams uh, day in and day out. 
Yeah, that's for sure. We got a very, very solid conference. What have you learned from this guy, Coach Hobbs? He's got uh, the baseball ped- pedigree from Willard and uh, obviously a good player in his days. What has he uh, brought to you to the game of baseball? Well, he's a winner. He went to a district championship all four years of high school and took us to a different district championship his first year with us. So he's obviously doing something right, and he knows how to win. Once more, your thoughts on being uh, selected to the cover of the Ozarks previews this year? I was honored, and um, I'm happy to be here. Okay, good stuff from Jake Leaker and Coach Blake Hobbs and the Gainesville Bulldogs. We'll look for big things from them this year. I'm Don West. We thank you for joining us on the Ozarks Baseball Previews.